Amen. Give God a hand praise. Come on now. Give God a hand praise. All right. Well, we've come to the end of our service. So as always, repeat after me. I will take what I've learned, I will take what I've learned and apply it to my life. And apply it to my life. Lord, use me this week. Lord, use me this week. For your glory. For your glory. Amen. 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 Everybody have a good week. Be blessed. Hey, Sunday? Mm -hmm. Ready to go? Yeah. After you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back. What's wrong? Wrong. Yeah, it's been two years. We've never had more than ten people in one church service. We averaged five. The other day we had two. Babe, you know I'm trying to promote the church. I know. Oh well, you know then I can't afford advertising, and social media is just not working out for me. Okay, well, we can't keep paying the church's bills and our bills. We ran out of our savings trying to keep the church afloat. Something has to get. Babe, just don't worry about this. Sit down. Be fine. I don't want to sit down. Just don't worry about I'm pregnant. What? Well, the doctor said we can't have kids. <laughs> now, are you playing right now? Because now it's not. You're serious. Oh my god. This is. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. This is too, this is too much. How could you say that? How could you say that? I'm still your wife. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I was out of line. Okay? Yes. What? What? How can you blame me, though? I I'm shocked. We went to multiple doctors who all said we can't have kids. And I've accepted that. Prepare to live a life without kids. Okay? And you tell me that you're pregnant at a time when we don't have any money and you want to close the church. I want to close the church? Guess what? Baby or no baby, we don't have any money. So what are we supposed to do? Keep the church open and, and be put out on the street? Is that what you want? Can I have a moment to, to process this? Can I? <laughs> Thanks for meeting me. Well, that's what friends are for. <laughs> What's going on? I think I messed up. How? Oh. Lynette and I have run through our savings. We haven't had any new members in over a year. We only have five active now. Nobody, nobody's tithing. The church isn't sustainable like this. And on top of that, Annette is pregnant. I thought you couldn't have any kids. So did I. Wow. That is a lot. <laughs> I don't want to sound cliche or anything. But... You have got to trust God through this. I know that, Chris. It's hard. But how am I going to take care of a kid with no money? And if I close the church, I owe thousands of dollars for breaking my lease. What does Lynn want you to do? She wants me to close the church. What does God want you to do? I don't know. That's just it. It's like, I can't hear from him on this. Makes me wonder if I was really called to pastor. Well, you're supposed to protect and provide for your wife and kid. Before the church, if any man does not take care of his own, especially those of his household, he has denied the faith 
and he's worse than an unbeliever. First Timothy five and eight. Thank you, pastor. <laughs> Can we pray? Sure. Eternal Father, we approach your throne in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, presenting to you Pastor T, Lynette, and that gift that you have granted to them, asking you for your wisdom, knowledge, and direction, and yes, a revelation of your will. Now unto the King Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Hey, Mr. Smith, this is Pastor T. Can you give me a call when you get a chance? Thank you. I'm sorry about the other day. Okay, um, it's just that we ran out of our savings and I never thought we'd find out we're pregnant. So I was just freaking out and I didn't know how to handle all of it. I mean what I'm about to say. I know you're called to preach, but what if you're called to preach on another pastor? Have you ever considered that? <sighs> Terrence. God. I don't know how I got here. I don't know if I'm walking in your will or out of your will, but I do know this. You can make this right. Now, I know fear is not of you, but I'm scared. I'm scared of being a father with no money. I'm scared of being a failure to my wife and to my church family. Lord, you gotta help me. If I'm supposed to pass in this church, make a way for me to. If I'm not, make a way for me not to. But use me for your glory. In the way you see fit, how you see fit. Now that you've given us this child that <laughs> we never thought we'd have, Provide us with the means to provide for it and give it the upbringing that it deserves. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hey, Mr. Smith, thanks for calling me back. Yeah, listen, um, I have some personal issues that came up and I was wondering if I could possibly break the lease on the church. Well, it's funny you should uh, ask that because I just had a pastor call me asking me if he could rent the church. I know things have been kind of slow for you there, so... I told him I would get back to him. Then you left me a message asking me to call you. So, what would happen if... If you break the lease, 
Well, normally you would owe me big time. But like I told you, when I met you, I like you and your wife. I think you're a good man, and things just didn't work out the way you planned this time. So I'm going to let you out of your lease with no penalty. Oh, praise God, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everything is in order. We left the church in good condition. Great condition. I know. And, and we'll be out by the first, if that's okay with you. That's fine. And just because you've had this setback, don't give up on God. Remember, he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 and 6. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Look, um, glad you're here. I have some good news to share. Okay, what's going on? I talked to Mr. Smith, and he said he would let us out of our lease without any penalties. He will. Okay. Um, what's wrong? Babe, I thought this is what you wanted. It is. But I know you wanted to pass to this church for a long time. Hey. Are you going to be okay? I'll be fine. I prayed about it, and I'm at peace with this decision. You're sure? Yeah. Okay, so... When is our last day? Um, I told him we'd be out by the first, and he said he was okay with it. The first? That's in two Sundays! Yeah, I'm going to make the announcement this Sunday. Two weeks? Babe, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Look, everything will be fine. You're gonna be okay? We're gonna be okay. Today's message is don't try to figure everything out. Somebody say, don't try, don't try to figure everything out. To figure everything out. Amen. Being a Christian is about having faith. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen? Amen. See, God gives us revelation. And no matter who you are, no one can truly figure out God. Or even come close. If you could, then you would be God. Amen? Amen. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 5 says that there is only one Lord. One faith, one baptism. Eventually, you will hear a message or, or experience a situation that will touch your heart and make you realize that God is real. And you will decide to give your life to him. And that, church, is the best decision that you can make in life. Amen. Amen. Church, as I said, we have other business to attend to. I have an announcement to make. After much prayer and support from your first lady, we've decided to close the church. Next Sunday will be our last Sunday. Pastor. How could you do this to us? And with one week's notice? No, first lady, no. Sister Sheila, I've done all that I can. I've given my all to this church. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for any one of you. But we can't keep these doors open anymore. There's no more money left. There must be something that, that we could do. Where are we supposed to go? Well, I believe there's another church that will be coming here soon. I don't have all the details yet, but I'm gonna let God lead me to where my next church home will be. And I pray that you all do the same. Remember in God's word, okay, Psalm 32 and eight, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will 
guide you with my eye. So trust in the Lord. Sheila, you all trust him and he will lead you to your next church. Thank you for your service. Pleasure. Good luck. Sure. Thank you. What are we going to do without you? Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. God's got you. Thank you. Sheila. I'm going to miss you, Pastor. I'm going to miss you. Damn, Pastor. It's crazy. It's going to be all right. Now you can really catch the games. You don't even have to come through here. <laughs> It'll be okay. I love you too. Ready to go? Uh, oh, yeah. Give me a second. How you doing? How you doing? So are things didn't work out with the church. Uh, thank you. First time here, you? I've seen you before. Yes. Yes. Uh, what's your name? Oh, Pastor James. All right. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, <laughs> Pastor James. That was a powerful message you preached today. Well, I'm actually the pastor that's buying this church from Mrs. Smith, and I wanted to attend the church service here before I actually brought the place. Oh, okay, okay. I've heard great things about you. I'm actually looking for an assistant pastor, and if you're interested, I would love to talk to you about the position. Sure, I'm interested. Great. 